Hey guys, how do I sell Hero? Welcome back to the channel and I'm super excited today to share some new information. Apple has officially released iOS 16 Developer Beta 5 and this one's going to be one of the favorites for many of you guys because this one adds some great new features and changes that many iOS users have been wanting for quite some time. I'm so excited to share the details with you guys. Some of these features that we've wanted are finally coming to iOS 16 on the iPhone. Now this one comes in at approximately 12 days after the previous beta beta 4 for developers so we're still technically on a two weeks release schedule for betas in ios 16 but apple could be changing that here shortly we'll talk about when we can expect a change to a weekly release schedule the official release for ios 16 the final version of course we're going to cover everything here in this video and of course this is just an initial coverage an hour about after using the software so stay tuned for my follow-up in the next day or two where i take a deeper dive into the software use it day after day and i can share more details in regards to new features changes batteries performance and all that good stuff so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that but as of right now let's go ahead and take a quick look at ios 16 developer beta 5 now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode and now as per usual apple has released their betas for other platforms as well ios 16 developer beta 5 is now out for developers as well as ipad os 16 beta 5 is out for the ipad mac os 13 beta 5 is out for the mac of course we have watch os 9 beta 5 available for the apple watch and of course tv os 16 developer beta 5 is now out so apple has updated all their platforms as per usual also beta software was released for the home pods as well and i'll cover everything else more in-depth information as i mentioned on my follow-up video but let me go ahead and start with the lock screen because in the lock screen on the latest beta 5 if we go to customizing and we tap on the widgets category this platter here is larger you now have more options to choose from from the pre-selected options apple has added more toggles here for you to choose from or more widgets i should say here for you to add directly to the widgets categories on the lock screen just a lot more options available for you in the latest beta for ios 16. now before you guys ask me why does this say ios 16 but it doesn't say beta 5 i was asking that myself this one by the way came in at approximately one to one and a half gigs from beta 4 to beta 5 and for those that may be interested here let's go ahead and take a look at the bill number there it is the latest bill number for this beta is 20A5339D and that's going to be the latest build for beta 5. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the bigger changes happening here and these changes have been something that many iPhone users have been wanting for so long if we go into the battery percentage we now finally have the battery percentage displayed on face id devices right there the indicator on the status bar it doesn't matter if you're on the home screen in safari you now have the toggle to enable battery percentage of course on non face id devices this has been there for years but ever since apple announced and introduced the iphone 10 many users complained including myself that you couldn't tell what the battery percentage was on your iphone by just simply looking at the icon and now on the home screen here i can actually see the actual percentage at a glance even from the lock screen as well you can see the battery percentage as well and if we go into low power mode this one looks kind of cool because you have that yellowish icon there, which is kind of cool right there. Apple has finally added battery percentage indicator. So I'm happy that Apple is listening to their customers and actually adding features that many users have been wanting for quite some time. But this beta, as I mentioned, is probably one of the best ones for many users out there because with AirPods, we also have some changes and Apple continues to listen to the customers here as well. So I have this iPhone here running the previous beta and I'm going to go ahead and connect these AirPods to this iPhone here and go to the AirPods menu. And if we go scroll down here on the previous beta, you have the version number, which if you tap, you have right here the case number and the actual AirPods firmware number. So let's go ahead and connect via Bluetooth there. We seem to be disconnected. So let's go back here once we connect. And we're going to go ahead and look at that menu again. Let me go back here. And you can see right there, I can tap. I can see the case version and the actual AirPods version. That's the previous beta. So let's go ahead and disconnect here and switch over to the latest beta. Now, many users have been wanting Apple to add at least release notes or a manual way to update their AirPods 
on iOS 16. And I'm happy to report that this beta takes that one step closer. So once we connect these AirPods to this iPhone, as you can see right there, same AirPods, we go back into the menu. And if we scroll down here to version number, we now have an arrow here that brings us to a menu. Now this menu right here says firmware details available at support.apple.com. Now if we click here, we don't get any information in regards to the AirPods, but we actually get this weird page here. I'm assuming this will be updated once Apple releases iOS 16 officially to the public public and any updates to the AirPods officially, but we now have the actual version number and case number displayed with what could be release notes and hopefully in the near future, fingers crossed, a manual way to update AirPods. So this update brings two major changes. Release notes, what it appears to be release notes coming to AirPods with new firmware updates and maybe even a manual way to update. And of course, the very, very well anticipated and feature that many users have been wanting, which is the battery indicator on the status bar. Now, when can we expect the next beta? When will Apple switch to a weekly release schedule? And when we can expect iOS 16 officially to the public? So, well, if history is any indication Apple could switch to a weekly release schedule as early as next week. We could see the next beta on the 15th. If not, definitely the following week we'll see another beta and after that Apple will move on with a weekly release schedule because iOS 16 will most likely be released towards mid to late September, which means Apple will soon start wrapping up the software and ramping up the actual features and getting everything done and ready for official release. So make sure to stay tuned. Of course, as I mentioned, this is my initial first look at iOS 16 developer beta 5. By the way, public beta testers expect this within the next 24 to 48 hours for you guys. So if you're watching this video, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll let you guys know when this will be available for public beta testers. It shouldn't take more than 24 to 48 hours. So just make sure Sure to stay tuned follow a video coming soon thank you for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one peace